This is uh, Dan, the rocket belt man. So, how high are you gonna get? What are you, what are you gonna do exactly? Well, I'm not gonna go as high as that other rocket because I don't have a parachute. Ah, nice. So, rocket I don't, belt with no parachute. Yes. That's adventurous. I have a parachute. Ah, uh, yeah, parachute. Parachute. <laughs> We're gonna do about, I might take it about 50 feet. We're gonna go out there, do a nice easy turn and come around and... Are, are you the same rocket belt guy from the Michael Jackson Dangerous Tour? We're the same company, but I'm the newer, I'm the, uh, the newer pilot. The new guy, yeah. I'm the new guy. Guy. What's your name? Caleb. Say it again. Caleb. Caleb. That's an awesome name. Look at your. Look at their T-shirts. Oh, to the moon, Alice. Oh my goodness, that is so awesome. Wow. Are you Alice? No. No. <laughs> um. So. So is this a real model of a of a shuttle? Well, it looks a lot like the shuttle, except it's a whole lot smaller. It's a two-man rescue vehicle, we call it. Something you'd park outside the International Space Station. And if a couple of guys needed to get out in a hurry, this is... But it would operate very similar to the shuttle. So it's like a spaceship lifeboat? Yes. I'm, I'm excited to see um, the spaceship. I'm excited to see the spaceship too! Two, one, ignition. with Eric Adams, uh, Pop Size Aviation Editor, and he knows a whole lot about why this whole uh, X Prize Cup is important and what's going on, and so I thought maybe we could have him tell us a little bit about the Space Elevator Challenge and what exactly is going on behind us. Right, exactly. Right over here we have three teams who are setting up their space elevators. Now you, there are most of the most ones that are over here now are university-affiliated teams. And the idea is that each of these teams has a device that can ride up this big ribbon here. I think it's about 100 feet in the air. It's made out of carbon fiber and rubber. And the idea is to demonstrate a vehicle that can function as a space elevator. In, in theory, the way the system will work in the years, in years to come is that there will be a, a uh, 63,000 mile long ribbon that goes out into space. And it's got a counterweight in the end of it and it rotates along with the Earth. And so all you have to do is to build a device that can go up and down the ribbon and that will be basically a space launch system. You don't have to have a rocket, you don't have to have fuel, it just takes seven days to go up into space. And these guys are demonstrating prototypes of that. Okay, so we talked to another guy, a space elevator expert guy earlier about this, but what, is, what does Popside think? Do we think this is going to work? Oh, we think it's a terrific idea. It's very innovative, it's very fresh, it's very new, and it doesn't rely on expensive you know, explosive rocket technology. It's just really smart engineering and it's really smart thinking. So we're excited about it. These guys have proven that the technology can work. And this is the first competition that's going to really validate it. And then they can just take it from there. They'll get bigger and bigger systems. And ultimately, we'll have something that goes all the way in orbit. Oh, things are going things are going great. We're, uh, we're on schedule and uh, we just unveiled the new Thunderhawk this morning, the first Mark 1X racer. Uh, uh, we just made some announcements on the engine testing and, and firings we've been doing and uh, we're looking forward to racing these next year right here. How many teams do you have lined up so far? Uh, we have uh, uh, two that we've announced as of today, um, but you should come tomorrow. Um, and we have a, a number of teams we're talking to. Uh, we have a number of venues that we're uh, are selecting right now, the final final step of selecting, uh, from the East Coast to the West Coast, so uh, major metropolitan areas. Are plans still underway to do a video game so that people at home can test out this uh, system? Yeah, we have, uh, we have a simulator here right now, actually. We have three simulators in the tent behind me where you can go race an X-Racer, and uh, we will announce the rest of our plans when our partners are ready. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You. We're here at the Rocket Racing League booth where they are they have these really cool simulators that have exactly what the pilot's eye view is when you're uh, driving the X Racer planes, which are the ones that are going to be used in the upcoming rocket races, which are kind of like NASCAR in the sky. 
So, Eric, can you tell us also about the Lunar Lander Challenge? The, the idea for the competition, and it's about, I think, a $1 million purse if they, if they can achieve this, is to go about 90 feet in the air, hover, go over about 100 feet, come back down to a landing pad, and then repeat it within two hours. So if you can do that, then they win a you know, million dollars to continue developing this technology. And the idea is that this will help with uh, other sort of lunar and Martian exploration systems in the future. I'm here with Tim Pickens from Orion Propulsion, and we are standing in front of the bicycle that belongs to the luckiest little girl in the world. Her name's Sarah Pickens, she's 14 years old, and she has a rocket bike, and I'm really, really jealous.